In this video, I want to talk a bit about process mapping business processes in ShareWell Service Management. In version 5, these will be called automation processes, and that's really what they are. They're processes that monitor the database and are triggered according to uh, a certain change or uh, event in the database. So why would we want to map what these these operations? Well, for one thing, it's it's great to have it in a design session to show be able to show a client or internal stakeholders what the out of the box content is doing in a way that makes sense both to IT stakeholders and to business stakeholders. Um, really, a process map is a document of shared understanding, and it's a way to uh, get agreement uh, beforehand before you start doing any development. In this demonstration, I'll be looking at a particular type of business process or automation process and uh, ways that you might use Business Process Mapping Notation 2.0 or BPMN uh, to, to illustrate what's going on in the system. So let's, let's get started. I'm going to open up ShareWell Service Management here. This is the admin tool. I create a new automation blueprint and sort. And what I'm going to do is open up a particular business process here. Respond by breached incident created. This has to do with SLAs on incidents and uh, lets us know when uh, the respond by deadline has been breached. So let's open that up. And let's zoom in a bit. There, so what we have is a start condition and this is again this is a monitored data condition and uh, in this particular instance it starts when an incident is created next it waits for time and event um, and so this is what I'll be paying close attention to is how do we model that in a mapping uh, in business process mapping notation so if an event occurs and this in this case the event is uh, when the SLA respond by deadline field is changed all that's going to do is jump to this step and loop back and wait again and the time limit set on this step is actually the SLA respond by deadline. So either that field will be changed or that the time value in that field will be reached chronologically and we'll move on to run this one step, which is respond by breached. And this one step simply creates a journal entry, updates the incident, and sends an email that the respond by time has been breached. I really, really like this interface that Sherwell has, this visual interface for um, mapping processes. But in terms of documentation, I really want to have something sort of more standardized. So I'm going to turn to um, an actual process map. I've done this up in uh, Bizagi Modeler, and uh, this is BPMN. So we have a start event here, and that's when the incident is created. The icon in here is a conditional. Um, so it's a conditional start, and that's an internal monitored data condition. So it's waiting for an incident to be created. When it is, we're going to do one of these event-based gateways. And I've labeled it wait for time and event. And really what that's doing is we have uh, two flows coming out, and it's waiting for one of these conditions to happen. So either the SLA deadline, uh, SLA respond by deadline is changed, in which case we go back to the gateway and wait again or the actual time comes. So here we have another conditional event. It looks very similar to the start event. And in the wait until SLA respond by deadline, we have a timer event, and that's waiting until a particular time has passed. When that time occurs, we're going into a sub-process here, and we have a sub-process that is actually a one step where we create our journal entry, we update our incident, and we send our breach email, and then finally we end the process. So again, what we have here is a conditional start that looks for the incident created condition. And then wait for a time and event is actually an event-based gateway with two different kinds of events leading out of their gates. And if we have the timer event, we're going to the one step and then ending. And that's how you might map a business process or automation process in shareable service management using BPMN.